spinal stenosis is nothing much but means a narrowing of the area for the nerve in the spine. It means a, the space available for the nerve getting smaller and smaller and smaller. All right. So what are the causes? The most common cause is actually the wear and tear and the disc start to bulge backward and causing a nerve compression. So what does that mean? You see, this is our normal people's spine. So this is the front and this is the back. The, this is how the disc look like, okay? And in the center of the spine, there's a something semi-jelly, we call it nucleus. And then the outer covering is called the annulus. So what happens is uh, this, this combination structures give a bouncing effect. So they can take any shock absorption on the spine. But due to daily compressions, so this annulus becomes weaker. So as it gets weaker, they start to bulge outward. Example is like this wall, my pen referred to the back space of the wall. And as it gets weaker and weaker, they start to move backward, backward. And then they, they start to stay onto the, this nerve area. So it, it, it actually cut into the nerve area, so the nerve will get tightened up. So the symptom of the spinal stenosis is that the, the person will have difficulty to stand for long hours, stand or walk for long hours. As they stand up, the pressure on the disc build up, the disc start to bulge. As they bulge, the disc will move backward and compressing on the nerve. And the nerve pain will just be so intolerable that the person has to sit down to relieve the pain. So the patient will keep changing from the standing then for some time, they feel the nerve pain, then they just sit down for 5-10 minutes, leave the pain, then they continue to walk again. It's quite common among the, the middle to old, older age group, it's about 40 to 50 years old onward. The treatment, uh, because of this pain can be treated with the conservative most of the time. So normally we give them about uh, 3 to 6 months of the conservative treatment. That is by doing physiotherapy, uh, traction, traction of the spine, try to reduce uh, the bulging of the disc and then also give some pain medication to reduce the nerve irritations. Majority patients improve within three to six months. So if they improve, we leave them alone. The problem with spinal stenosis is that the pain will come back again. So some come back within three months, come back, come back within two or three years. So if the pain come back in a very short interval, then we actually look at what are the how much patients are being affected. So if badly affected, we have the different different options. The minor option is like giving a spinal epidural injection to free the pain. Then some of the patients, we can actually consider uh, decompressions to free up, the, to, to make more space for the nerve so that the patient can, the, the, the nerve can tolerate the, the compression for the bulge. And the last option is of course, we, we remove the whole disc and then put in titanium screw to fuse up the segment so that the segment no longer cause problem. So that's a treatment for the spinal stenosis.